hello everyone welcome back to a new session on dentistry and more today's topic is trigeminal neuralgia or tic doloros or further gills disease so as the name suggests it is a pain which is associated with a nerve that is trigeminal nerve which is the fifth cranial nerve so let's see what is the details of trigeminal neuralgia So trigeminal neuralgia is a long term pain disorder which affects the trigeminal nerve. So trigeminal nerve basically has three branches V1, V2 and V3. So this is not exactly V, this is the fifth cranial nerve, the Roman letter. So the first branch is ophthalmic branch, then the maxillary branch and mandibular branch. So it affects the trigeminal nerve so the pain can be anywhere in this area elicited by the trigger zones so it is a neuropathic disorder of trigeminal nerve that causes episodes of intense pain in eyes lips scalp forehead and jaws so these are the areas which is supplied by trigeminal nerve this is also known as tic dolorox or Fothers Gill's disease and it has a another name that is suicidal disease because of this unbearable pain uh, there are reports people commit suicide because this uh, the pain uh, elicited just like that without any specific causes while you brushing uh, while you eating while you touching your face while shaving even with a you know, cool breeze uh, can elicit the pain that pain will be very intense and very um, severe so there are reports people uh, committed suicide because of trigeminal neuralgia so by definition it is a sudden unilateral severe brief stabbing recurrent pain in the one or more branches of fifth cranial nerve so this is the fifth cranial nerve it has three branches ophthalmic maxillary and mandibular branches so the basic classification is typical trigeminal neuralgia a typical one primary which is idiopathic and secondary so classification are uh, based on the nature and etiology it is basically due to the compression of nerve root so the nerve root of fifth cranial nerve is compressed because of many reasons. It could be uh, meningeal diseases, schwannoma, epidermoid cyst, and it could also be due to primary demyelination disorder that is multiple sclerosis or carcinomatous deposits in these roots and also known demyelination lesions of bones or medulla so when its root is compressed the problem arises because the root distributes all the branches so it problem can be seen in one of the branch or one or more than one of the branch and it can trigger the pain from certain trigger zones so let's see what is the pathogenesis of trigeminal neuralgia so the superior cerebellar artery pressing on or grooving the root of nerve which causes pressure so it is a superior cerebellar artery which is in close connection with its root pressing on the root or it is grooving the root which causes or which creates pressure and focal demyelination and hyper excitability of nerve fiber happens so there will be focal at some points there will be demyelination the myelin sheath will be or will be removed or will be gone and there will be hyper excitability of nerve fiber happens so on light touch which results in brief episodes of intense pain so this is how this uh, uh, pathogenesis works that is superior cerebellar artery pressing 
or grooving the root of nerve which creates pressure and focal demyelination and hyper excitability of nerve fiber so what happens on very light touch which results in brief episodes of intense pain now let's move on to the clinical features so clinical features which is basically very rare disease commonly seen middle age groups and it has female predilection that is 60 to 40 percentage so 60 percentage seen in women and the maxillary division is more commonly involved that is v2 or the fifth uh, cranial branch the second division and the ophthalmic division is rarely involved this one so when the pain elicits on what occasions on what uh, procedure the pain elicits that creates this disease is very complicated and it is very uh, disturbing to your day-to-day -day life that is the pain the intense brief lancinating pain you may have while shaving while showering while speaking while eating while exposure to wind so that means there is literally there is you have no escape from pain it can uh, just like that arise from any of these any of these thing that is shaving just like shaving just like showering the pain elicited that is the pain is very intense and it lasts for seconds to minutes so your day-to-day -day life is totally interrupted so it can the pain can be seen in cheek jaw teeth gums lips because this trigeminal nerve supplies all of these areas it has ophthalmic branch it has maxillary branch it has mandibular branch so it applies all these areas it is apply it uh, supplies cheek jaw teeth gums lips and all areas it supplies so all of these areas will be affected or some of the areas will be affected so wherever the problem is that branch or the areas that branch supplies will be affected so pain is very very severe it is stabbing type or it is like electric shocks it is like burning or it is like crushing or exploding or lancinating pain so people described it is like stabbing electric shocks burning crushing exploding or lancinating type of pain so you can imagine the intensity of this pain and the reasons occasions it is uh, elicited so it may last from few seconds to minutes and most commonly it is unilateral that it affects commonly on the right side of the patient so the patient has a frozen or mask like face this is a most important feature of trigeminal neuralgia that is frozen or mask like mask like face and why because on extreme pain moments the patient's face will be frozen so the patient is not able to move a bit not able to uh, make any facial expression because the patient is undergoing very severe pain that is why it has got a frozen or mask like face and it is precipitated by trigger zones so there are various trigger zones like eyes lateral part of nose corner of mouth lips upper lip lower lip so all these can act as trigger zone simply touching this trigger zone will create will elicit this pain so how do we diagnose this so most commonly the history taking the clinical examination and the diagnostic la block so la block should be um, applied to each branch and we diagnose or we rule out the involvement of each branch we can go for ct scan and uh, MRI so these are the diagnostic part then the treatment part we can go for either medical management 
or surgical management so medical management is mainly uh, we are giving uh, drugs like carbamazepine phenytoin or clonazepam surgical management is like either we need to do a microvascular decompression or percutaneous balloon decompression or gamma knife radio surgery or retro gazarian rhizotomy so these are the various surgical procedures which can be used to remove the trigeminal ganglion trigeminal nerve or the parts of trigeminal nerve so that the patient won't feel the pain so this is a uh, very complicated uh, disease which is known as suicidal disease so the name itself gives a lot of clue about this disease so how Uh, severe and how complicated the disease is so trigeminal neuralgia so the name gives which now it is affected that is trigeminal fifth nerve fifth cranial nerve it has three branches that is trigeminal three branches one two three trigeminal branches which is also known as tic dolorox or fothergill's disease so the takeaway points is it is a suicidal disease it has trigger uh, triggering points it is frozen or mask like phase and uh, it is the severe brief stabbing pain so frozen or mask like phase trigger points and the stabbing recurrent pain on just like shaving showering speaking the basic routine procedures or routine things what we do in our day to day life so that's all about trigeminal neuralgia so i'll come up with a new topic in dentistry and more thank you